Hi, George here. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to depixelate an image using Photoshop Elements. Now, if I zoom in, there's a lot of pixelization along the edges. It looks just awful. We can minimize that very easily, and it's a two-step process. Before we do that, let's go over here on the right-hand side to the layers. If you're not seeing layers over here, click on the layer button at the bottom, and then right-click on the name and choose Duplicate Layer, choose OK, and then hide that original layer. That's because we're going to be changing the pixels on the layer. In case you mess up, you can always go back to your original right here. So that's your safety. Okay, now the first step on this is to change the image size. This one is at about 340 pixels across, and it's 72 pixels per inch. Let's see if we can up-res that, go up to Image, come down to Resize, and Image Size. And we'll start by changing our resolution to 300. And we also want a bigger picture, so let's change the width up here to 4,000. Now this should automatically change the bottom one down here. And that's this checkbox right there, Constraint Proportions. If that's checked, that should have worked out just fine. You also want to resample your image, and that's the options down in here. Now, by Cubic, this is what most programs will use, but Photoshop Elements has two other options, by Cubic Sharper or by Cubic Smoother, best for enlargement, that's the one that you want. And then choose OK, and the picture gets a lot bigger. Now I'll use the Control Zero keyboard shortcut to get it back down to size. Looks much better. If I zoom in, notice how almost all that pixelization has now been removed. It's a little bit softer in here. We need to do some sharpening on this. We've already taken care of that pixelization. It's already a much better picture. Now I can't make it a whole lot sharper. We're limited on that. I can't bring in details that aren't here, for instance. But we can make it better than this and make it better for printing. Now before we go on to that step, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. I'm doing new videos all the time here for Photoshop Elements. And if you don't subscribe, there's a good chance you're going to be missing those. And before we sharpen this, let's go ahead and make a duplicate copy of this layer here. This is our background copy. I'm going to click in here. Let's just call this one Enlarge. There we go. Right click on this, duplicate that layer, choose OK. Click into here, rename this one Sharpen. So I have those separated, again, just a safety. I can go back one step if I need to easily. OK, let's go up here to the Enhance menu. Come down to Adjust Sharpness. And you can zoom in and out right here. Let's just back out. All I really care about is looking at the edges in here. So we'll just zoom up. You can see our edges right down here. You also could look at the eyes. It's another good place to look for your sharpness. We have a preview in here. And we can remove a blur. Gaussian blur, lens blur, or motion blur. Choose Gaussian as your default. And then let's bring radius up to just about one, just to start. And then if I pull this down to the left, you see it's a little bit softer, clear to the right, it's a little bit sharper. Let's bring up our radius now, looking better. Let's bring down the amount. And it's going to be a balancing act. If these are both up too high, it begins getting really strange like that. So it's a balancing act. You want to be coming up on the radius and then balancing that out with the amount so it's not looking too crazy. And what this does is it goes in, it looks for the edges and tries to make the edges more contrasty. And that's why it looks sharper. It's not because it's adding in any additional detail. It just appears like it is because it's increasing the contrast on your edges. And I think that was looking pretty good right here. Let's choose OK. There we go. Let's go ahead. We'll compare this. There's the original. And here's our new version. Looks like it's a much better, much higher resolution image. And of course, the pixelization is all gone now. And if you want to learn a lot more about how to use Photoshop Elements, I have a training course just for this program. And in that, I cover everything, all the tools, all the menus, all the panels, everything. I also cover the organizer, and I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. That really does help my channel a lot. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.